Today we're going to be continuing looking at applications that I use on my Android device and today we're looking at a black screen and a keyboard. That's right, it's the shell I use. Now, there are a few terminal applications out there for Android. The one I use is more than just a terminal application. It's Termux. If you haven't heard about it, check it out. It's in both the Google Play Store and F-Droid. And once you install it, it not only gives you access, a lot of the terminals out there you get for Android give you access to the Android shell. This is different. It's actually a whole new environment uh, and it has a package manager with a bunch of applications available uh, in their repositories. Now, it's not quite a true root, but it's pretty darn close. Now, you don't need to root your phone for this, but it gives you access to a lot of the tools you would have on a standard Linux system. Things like, you know, full version of Python. It will give you, um, like I use um, Axel to download stuff, or uh, I'm going to talk more about other applications I use, an Nmap, uh, full BusyBox, full Bash Session. I actually have uh, Z Shell installed on here with Tmux, not Termux, but Tmux for splitting the window and have multiple sessions going. I have FFmpeg installed on here that I'm going to talk about later on. But a lot of the core tools I use, more than core tools, a lot of the tools I use are in the package manager, in their repositories there. And now to explain the difference between this and a chur root, first of all, chur root you're going to need to root your device. You don't need to root your device to use Termux, and you're still going to have a lot of those applications. Now, you'll still would need root if you want to do root stuff, like accessing certain types of uh, hardware and stuff like that. There's still going to be restrictions on that because Android just locks everything down that way, which is one of the, in my opinion, biggest drawbacks of Android. But uh, Termux just gives you 99% of what you're going to be doing right there in the package. So again, a chur root, what a chur root is, um, basically you'll have a folder or a partition or an image that you have mounted that has a full Linux file system on it, such as Debian, for example. And when you chur root into it, basically you're telling the computer, continue using the Linux kernel that we're currently using, which is great because it already has all your needed drivers loaded. But for all the applications and everything we're going to do once we enter the chur root, use this file system so everything but the kernel would be Debian. And it's just like running Debian anywhere else um, or whatever distribution you're using. Termux is a little different. Uh, I, I don't know the exact details on how it works, but basically from my understanding uh, when I read about it a while ago, one of the things about difference between different Linux distributions is where files are stored. And when you install an application that's a binary application, it is most likely dynamically linked, so it's going to look for libraries in certain folders. Well, Termux has variables set for different things, so basically it's very much like a chur root where it has its own folder where it stores all its stuff, um, but instead of saying this is the root directory for everything, just use the kernel, it's just saying, okay, we're going to load up our shell, we're going to set these variables to look for certain things in certain places. So it's very much like a chur root in that way, but you still have access, you're still in the um, the the Android operating system and can still access things that way once you get permission, which we'll talk about more once we get into the next video where I talk more about this, but you're actually able to access and interact with Android with it as well, which is awesome if you want to be able to uh, trade off your clipboard information, open Android applications, navigate uh, to websites in your web browser all using shell scripts. You can do all that with Termux. So, check it out. Termux, you can get it in the uh, Android, the, the Google Play Store, or as we talked in the last video, in FDroid. Um, either or, uh, make sure you remember which way you install it because it does make a difference once we get a little more into what we're going to be doing in the next video. So be sure to come back, check that out. As always, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.